Hi, I'm Elliot Christ in 2008, and um, I'd like to introduce one of the very first projects I've ever done in my sophomore year of high school in 2001-2002 uh, for, for a sophomore year history project um, on the town of Douglasville and the Swedish settlement of Morlotten there. So right now I'm going to, uh, we have a satellite hookup right now, and we're going to uh, link up with myself in 2002. Over to you, Elliot. Thanks, Elliot. It seems that some of the most well-known historical places in U.S. history, Colonial Williamsburg, Independence Hall, Gettysburg, for example, are relatively far away. Few people realize that quite a bit of American history is right in their backyard. I went around my hometown of Douglasville, Pennsylvania, and prepared video of some of the most fascinating and sadly underrated historical sites. It's amazing that even in small towns like Douglasville, Pennsylvania, history can be right next to you. Along the Schuylkill River is a small stone house built by Mounts Jones. The house is commonly known as Old Swede's House. Mounts Jones and his wife Ingebo were Swedish settlers. Jones's father, Jonas Nielsen, accompanied Governor Prince to New Sweden in 1643 before the colony was taken over by the Dutch and later by the English. The house dates from 1716 and is the oldest house in Berks County. It's interesting to note that at one point the house looked like this. After its restoration, Berks County's oldest house was once again in its original condition. Mount Jones's great-grandson was Mark Bird, who built Hopewell Furnace and financed the American Revolution. Next to Old Swede House is the house of the covered bridge keeper, whose job it was to light lanterns in terms of the bridge. Across the street from Mount Jones's house is the house of George Douglas. Douglas was the wealthiest citizen in the area, the house, built in 1763, is currently undergoing restoration. The White Horse Inn, built in 1762, was an important stop for a bi-weekly stagecoach on a main road to and from Philadelphia. George Washington stayed there during the Philadelphia fever epidemic. The four places we've seen so far are in Old Morlatton Village. Morlatton was what Douglasville was known as in the days of New Sweden. But outside that area is St. Gabriel Episcopal Church. The church was founded in 1720. It was the first Swedish Lutheran church in Berks County is in service today as an Episcopalian church. The very steep roof of the church is typical of Swedish architecture at the time. Next to the church is a small stone chapel dating from the 19th century. The original, made of logs, lasted until 1801. But all around are scattered gravestones marking the tombs of former Douglas villains. Some of the stones are so eroded that the names are no longer legible. The Bird family, who founded Birdsboro, are buried here. As are George and Mary Douglas. George Douglas's legacy is recorded on a plaque on his monument. Douglasville was named for him. I hope that through this you got to learn and appreciate Morladen the same way I did. Are there any questions?
Yeah, I have a question. Weren't you wearing something different before? Were you sitting on a stool before? I mean, did you change in between? Did you change while I was just sitting here and watching? If you ask me stupid questions like that again, I will. Oh, jeez, I, um, I think I lost me. So, uh, thanks for watching, and good night, day, wherever in time it is when you're watching this. Ah, uh, it's my mom.